guys, so today's video is going to be a story time, and this is as loud as I can talk right now because my throat is in a lot of pain right now. If you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, I basically said that I was sick and I feel like deathly ill. Like, I even asked you guys to call life alert because I thought I was having a heart attack for a moment and I'm not even playing. So I'm sorry if I seem kind of like, eh. It is not my fault. I really wanted to put this story time out for you guys because I'm telling you guys about how I almost died like the other day and it has nothing to do with like some creepy stalker or like almost getting kidnapped or anything like I almost died in my sleep and it was so terrifying and like the night before I was feeling sick but after I like experienced this I was like okay I'm just gonna go to the doctor and tell him what was going on because like I'm scared that's gonna happen again but this time I'm not gonna wake back up and I'm going to like die now this does have to do with like some medical stuff that I'm going to talk about but what happened in the dream and what I saw when I opened my eyes is what really scared me and you guys already know if you've seen my paranormal experience video that I do experience like really weird things happening and I'm pretty sensitive to certain things and I understand if you don't believe in that stuff I'm not trying to force anybody to believe in ghosts or demons and angels and all that stuff because I'm in I'm not in the place to you know force that stuff upon you guys but I do and what I saw I believe was real and everything that I've experienced I believe happened so yeah and hopefully the lighting doesn't look too bad because this is all I can work with because I didn't bring my umbrella lighting because why would I do that so this happened two days ago so I was laying in bed and it was maybe about two or three in the morning and because I was feeling so sick I couldn't fall asleep and I'm pretty sure that's how a lot of people are. When they're sick they just can't fall asleep. Some people will knock out but me personally I could not fall asleep. And I started my period those, like two days ago and I know like so TMI or whatever but it has to do with this story okay. Like I just started my period so I was thinking oh maybe because I'm having cramps maybe I'm feeling a little nauseous. I don't know, maybe it's just a symptom, I'll just get over it, but the way I was feeling was not normal because, I mean, I've been bleeding for years now. So I'm kind of used to what my body goes through around this time of the month. I don't remember exactly what time I fell asleep, it was probably around like maybe 4 o'clock because I texted somebody and I think they sent me like a text back and I don't remember getting it and it was around that time. So I think I ended up falling asleep around 4. But the first thing I remember when I fell asleep and when I was awake in my dream, because I lucid dream a lot, which means you can kind of control your dreams. And if you want to be able to lucid dream if you've never done it before, there's like videos on YouTube and articles on, and stuff on how to lucid dream. And I do that almost every single night because I like to be in control because I dream of a lot of scary stuff because you guys know I've been through a lot. So... I dream of a lot of scary stuff and I don't want to have to deal with that in my dreams when I should be dreaming of Dave Franco's booty. I remember I was driving on a highway next to this guy named Jesse S. He's a um like model or whatever and he's dating some girl named Savannah something. She's like a Tumblr girl that I guess she was like famous for her relationship with some random guy. But he was in a car next to me and we were like racing on the highway and then all of a sudden like the highway went up and there was nothing after that and our cars just went up and he told me to jump out because we were gonna die if we didn't jump out and I'm over here like okay if I jump out of this car why wouldn't I die like I mean I'm gonna die either way but I go ahead and listen to him and I jump out of my car and somehow it became GTA and I had a parachute and I'm over here like sailing down to the bottom of like the street and it's there was like a sign that said New Jersey so I knew I was in New Jersey at the time and there was these like little masses of like grass and rocks and stuff that I had to hop onto and they were like floating in the ocean and it led to like this gigantic house that was like covered in windows and mirrors and it was really weird because there was like a cloud on top of it that was like just really dark but the rest of the place was fine so I'm over here thinking like why am I going towards this house but this boy is fine so I'ma follow him. He is an actual guy like if you guys want to look him up go look him up. Jesse with an E ends with a Y. Anyways, so I go into this house and once I open the door I'm suddenly surrounded by all these crates and I don't know if you guys can picture this but you know like those long rectangle crates that you see on top of ships and stuff? They were everywhere and they were like stacking 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 and suddenly I felt claustrophobic and now this is the first time that I woke up. Um, and this first time that I woke up I couldn't breathe and it was so terrifying because I was feeling claustrophobic in the dream and 
I don't know why I woke up so suddenly, but I couldn't breathe at all and I was gasping for air and I was choking and my heart was hurting and my lungs were hurting. And I finally snapped out of it. Like I was awake, like I was stuck in the bed, I couldn't move and I got up really fast and I stood up and I started like kind of pacing around the room, trying to catch my breath like why couldn't I breathe? What the heck was that? So I drank myself some ginger ale because I ended up taking some up to my room. Um, earlier so I was drinking some of that then I went back into the bed and I fell asleep instantly and I went back into my dream. This time I woke up back in that same exact field that had the little like rectangle box thingies and this Jesse guy he was waving at me and he's like come on come over here come over here and he vanishes so I'm over there going towards that direction then all of a sudden this tall black figure just like shows up out of nowhere and it had no face it had no like defined features it didn't have like a mouth or anything it literally looked like a shadow and you guys like it's so terrifying to think of this because of what i'm going to tell you guys next but it was just like a tall black shadow and what scared me the most is because when i lived in my oh my gosh why are my eyes tearing up what is wrong with me am i gonna cry but when i lived with my parents every single almost every single night um i had my closet door closed and it would somehow open and this is why I took my closet door down and I put a curtain but it didn't stop after that. I would look and my closet door would like slowly open and I would see a black shadow, a black figure and it looked exactly like that in my dream and that's what really terrified me and I literally froze and I couldn't move and it seemed like I was stuck there forever and it started coming towards me and I started running eventually after a while once it got really close and it started calling my name and like this really like old radio style voice it sounded like like a radio from like the 1930s but it was trying to say my name but it was like missing letters it'd be like ah, sa, like like that but it was like an older like radio kind of voice which makes it even more terrifying what the heck and i'm just running and running and i'm over here screaming for this jesse guy i don't know why i mean dave could have swooped in and made this thing go away but he didn't probably somewhere else with some other girl but i'm over here running and crying and I ended up waking up with tears because I was crying in my dream, which is freaking scary. Like, how do you... Mm, anyway. But I eventually get over to this cliff that I can see over. And it's so weird because before, like, there was water everywhere. But when I looked over this edge, it's like we were in the sky. And you could see, like, the world down below. Which I don't really understand how that happened, but it did. It was a dream. And I'm just standing there thinking, oh my gosh, do I jump? Because this thing was coming closer and closer to me. And I just like turned around and it touched me on my shoulder and I woke up. And now this is the really scary part and this is why I woke up crying and I started crying even though I, like, I continued to cry when I was awake. Because, and I didn't tell my grandma this and I know she's going to watch this video because I'm staying with them right now and she's going to be like, Vanessa, why didn't you tell me? But I looked in front of me and... Now keep in mind, I was sleeping in a bunk bed, so I'm on the bottom bunk, and I'm looking up, I lifted my head a little bit, and the reason I didn't lift it up all the way is because I felt like I couldn't. I lifted it up as much as possible. I was trying to get out of bed, but I couldn't get out of bed, and I saw that black shadow, a very faint, like, outline of it, and it wasn't that dark, because by now it was like 5.36 in the morning, maybe? I don't know. It was a little bit later on, and I go into like dream state or REM sleep really really fast like I know it takes some people hours to have a dream but I can fall asleep and instantly start dreaming but it was probably around that time so it's already getting light outside so I can clearly see that something is in front of me and I was shaking you guys and I couldn't move like my temperature was boiling and like my body was boiling and I felt, but I felt really cold, like I was shaking, but my body was like 102 like degrees, like temperature, like that's what it felt like. And I couldn't stop shaking and I was like crying, but I couldn't control the crying and I just saw it in front of me and I know I was awake. I know I wasn't dreaming at that point because I remember waking up and I was just staring at it and I closed my eyes and I opened my eyes again and it was gone and I was freaking out so I just closed my eyes again and I was like I'm not even gonna get up because watch me stand up and something pulls me under the bed now this is the last time that I ended up falling asleep before I woke up for the final time and this is like right before I went to the hospital or like the urgent care or whatever because I told my grandma that 
I woke up being unable to this is what really made her like okay we're going over there right now put some clothes on that's why I put on Instagram that I had those like ratchet braids in my hair because I just had to do something really fast because I had an afro at the moment and it wasn't like a cute afro it was like like weird back into my dream and ugh, this is like the worst part of it all I feel like it just continued to get worse and worse and worse at this point. I woke up inside of my parents' house and I woke up inside of my room. And I remember my room in the dream was pink and purple. Now this is the color that my room was before I dyed it, or not dyed it, before I colored it that um, blue color. If you've been watching my videos for a long time, my room was like a light blue color. So that was the color before, and I think I had it that color between 14 to 15 years old. So I woke up in that room, and I had like, I don't know what it was, but I was like looking from somebody else's point of view, so I saw my face. It was like I had like an attachment with like a GoPro on it, and the, I was like seeing what the GoPro was seeing. Does that make any sense? Maybe? I don't know. Like the way you guys are seeing me right now, that's how I was viewing myself and I saw my face like that. Except at this point, I wasn't 18 years old anymore. I was like maybe 13, 14 years old and I know I was 13 or 14 because I remember the stage I went through, the way I looked at that age. I stood up and I walked downstairs and oh my gosh, this was awful. I saw my two dogs, um, well I only have one dog now because my other one passed away a few years ago but both of them were completely slaughtered all over the floor like they it looked like something attacked them and it was all over the floor and I started crying and screaming and I heard my mom saying what what is it what is it what is it and I'm like mom come out here like look at this like look what happened to Primo and Tess like come out here and look at what happened and she's like I can't I can't and I'm like okay why not so I go inside of my parents room and the exact same thing happened to my parents and like the exact same thing that happened to my animals like the way they were slaughtered like that's what happened to my parents in their bed and that is not a good sight to see of your parents like no at this point I was wondering where's my brother where's my brother and I'm like where's Jaden at where's Jaden at and even though my mom was dead in my dream she was still talking to me somehow and she's like he's not here he was staying over at a friend's house he's fine like why are you worried why are you freaking out everything's okay and i'm over here like what the heck you're dead so i run out of the front door and right as i run out the front door i'm coming out of my closet and i'm back in my room again the exact same setting so i run back downstairs and i continue to do this a few times and at this point i'm not really lucid dreaming that much i can't really control it i'm just kind of like remembering what happened i don't know why i couldn't really control it that much this time but yeah i eventually stop once i get into my room for like the billionth time i felt like i was going through like a rotation for like 50 minutes i just got back into my bed the bed that i had at the time i remember like the whole the sheet covers and everything everything was exactly the same and i put the sheets over my head and i felt something pull the sheets off of me and i looked up and it was that same exact black figure except this time it was wearing a fedora hat and it was telling me why are you trying to hide it's not working and it was that radio voice again and it was like why are you trying to hide from me where are you trying to go i'm always here and stuff and that's what really really terrified me that's why this was like the worst part of the entire dream because not only did i see all of like my family like murdered but the fact that it told me that it was always here and that it wasn't going anywhere really really scared me and i remember i was just crying and just crying and crying and I woke up again and this is the last time that I woke up and I woke up with few tears in my eyes I wasn't like crying hysterically and I didn't see anything this time when I woke up but it was bad because it looked so realistic and it felt so real so I'm over here thinking like did this really just happen like did this all just take place somehow and the fact that it told me in my dream that it was never going anywhere and that like an hour before I swear I saw something in front of me at the foot of the bed really freaking scarred me even more. I'm really like, I'm not scared of like demons and all that stuff because I believe in God and I believe that he's protecting me all the time and I believe I have some sort of guardian angel with me at all times because Every time something bad happens to me, I always end up okay 
no matter what bad situation I'm in, I always end up okay. And I believe that it's God. That, that's the reason that I'm okay each time because he's watching over me and he knows it's not her time to go. I'm gonna protect her this time. She's gonna get away. She's gonna be fine. So I'm not really that afraid that whatever this thing is, if it's even real, if I wasn't hallucinating, if I'm not some crazy person, whatever it is, um, I think I'm gonna be fine. But I really wanted to just share this story with you guys because you guys really enjoy my story times. I know you guys enjoy my story times. So I wanted to share it with you and let you guys in on what happened because this was really scary and I just, I don't know. It wasn't like a kidnapping story. It wasn't a stalker story. So if that's what you're expecting, I hope you're glad that it's not a stalker or a kidnapping story because I've had enough incidents in only 18 years and most of these have happened within like only the past few years. So it's like, really? I've had enough. I hope you guys enjoyed the story time. Tell me your thoughts below if you've ever experienced anything like this because it really scared me. And I know a lot of you guys told me to do like some research on the hat man and all that stuff and I kind of did. And like a lot of you were sending me tweets and stuff and I was kind of like checking that stuff out and kind of like doing a little bit of research. And I don't know, I don't really think it's that, but well, I hope it's not because that's like some really powerful like demon stuff. But, um, I don't know. I don't know why this would be happening to me because I've never messed with any of, any bad stuff. Like, I'm not dumb. I'm not gonna touch a board. I don't even like to say the first word. I'm not gonna touch one of those boards. I, I'm not about that. I will never do that. And I find out my kids do that, I'm gonna whoop them. And then I will send them off to some other school in Somalia or something because they are not dragging no ghost in my house. Sorry, I don't have a daughter anymore. And I hope Dave is okay with that. We'll have another. So yeah, let me know if anything weird like this has ever happened to you guys. And I hope this entertained you. I'm going to be posting this pretty late at night. So for my late birds or early birds or is it night owls? Yeah, it's night owls or early birds. Whichever part of the world on earth that you are on, I hope this entertained you just for a little while. And yeah, make sure you subscribe and become a member of the Franco family. Thank you guys all for supporting me and watching all my videos and checking out my channel. If you don't follow me on Twitter, it's at SimplyNessa15. I finally changed it. And I want to change my Instagram to SimplyNessa15, but some butthole decided to make an account with SimplyNessa15 and not post any photos or anything on it, basically just so I couldn't have the name. So I'm probably never going to get to have it unless I... I don't know, like contact Instagram or something. I don't know how that works. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.